All right, so for this cool project idea, we're going to need to tape down our paper. So I'm just going to be using some masking tape in order to center my paper so that it's not going to warp up as we're putting the glue and the paint. So that's the very first thing we're going to do to our sheet of paper. Let's just go ahead and tape it all the way around. So I'm also going to add some of the water into my paint so that it can start getting moist. That's one of the things that I like to do before starting any watercolor painting. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of water in there. What I have here is uh, one of my containers and a pretty big brush so that I can spread out my clear glue evenly throughout my sheet of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some of that clear glue in there. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And you can just keep pouring as you go along if you need more. And what we're going to do is just put plenty of that glue. Just saturate your brush. And uh, make sure it's plenty, plenty, plenty of it. So that you can have really cool effects once we put that paint on there. So I'm starting to put some of that clear glue or all over my sheet of paper and plenty of it so you guys can see I'm kind of scooping it as if it were to be a spoon and making sure that my whole entire paper has plenty of that glue so that's one of the main goals is just to put a nice thick coating of that glue I'm just going to put a little bit more here and if you guys have extra just make sure to pour it back into the glue container because that's good glue you don't want to waste it okay so once you're at this point then we're ready to move on to the next step okay so for my next step I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, my brushes um, I'm gonna need one for support and then another one to tap it so you'll start to see the effects that the paint has on the glue it all of a sudden starts spreading like beautiful flowers and you guys can do multiple colors as you go along and the bigger the brush bristles you have the wider the strokes will be so or the dabs splashes the paint and you're gonna see different variations of it just depending on the size of brush that you use so I'm going to use my bigger brush here it adds a lot more color into it so I'm going to switch over to my big brush and just start adding a whole bunch of different colors you kind of decide where you want them to be and also the type of painting that you want but make sure you rub into the paint really good so that you can have wonderful effects in the end and there's plenty of that color on your brush so I'm going to keep doing that all over until I cover up most of the white areas so let's get to it
here and I am going to stop. It almost seems like a landscape to me. So I'm just going to stop there and then see what I can do with this beautiful painting that I've already started with the glue and the paint. So this can take me into different ways of painting it. I can put trees, I can put just silhouettes of trees. I can do anything that I want with it. So this is where the fun part starts. This is where your creativity goes wild. So let's get to it. All right, so I do have a dried one here. And as you guys can see, all the colors have already been uh, dried out. And uh, this is on a sheet of paper. So the glue tends to warp up the paper and the watercolor paint will go in the direction of the glue so it'll kind of like have these darker effects on those areas where it warps up just depending on where it warps up so in this particular case my paper warped up in those areas and it created darker shapes which uh, I really like because it's very spontaneous and free-flowing so I don't know about your paper but mine looks pretty awesome and it created some very wonderful effects here as well so just uh, take a look at your paper and see it from multiple perspectives and you're gonna see that it has even different shapes in there that you can kind of experiment with and kind of go on from there just like the old masters that uh, got ideas from even simple things like this uh, marble tops and you know creative uh, ways of seeing things I don't know if you guys can see that there it seems like little animals to me but um, even there seems like a little animal facing that way I don't know but anyway um, all these free-flowing little whimsical critters that develop is because of the free-flowing uh, effect that we got from the glue and the watercolor paint so from this here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as a backdrop for my picture frame and this is just a picture frame from the dollar store so let's go ahead and do that next just gonna go ahead and take my picture here just put some stickers and no bird here and let's go ahead and put it onto our frame 